Hi everyone and welcome back to another card opening video. This is a, another personal break for me. I went to my local card shop yesterday and as you can see I bought a few things. Uh, I have two boxes of 2021 Clearly Authentic Baseball, two boxes of the 2021 Topps Archive Signature Series Baseball, and he was selling Museum Collection by the mini box. Um, he had five mini boxes there. He said one was from the old box and then the other four were from a new box. So I grabbed this one from the new box. It feels kind of light to me. So hopefully it's either the, hopefully it's the, the sticker auto, but it could be the napkin relic as well. I don't think it's the quad or the, the patch auto because it seems pretty, really light and maybe actually may have a redemption which would be cool um but let's get into it uh hopefully I, I get five autographs instead of four and one relic but we'll do the archive signatures first these are all retired players uh there are some pretty good players in here i watched a few videos before deciding on taking a chance on buying them. Uh, I saw a lot of good players compared to last year's set. Uh, I was not impressed with the players you could get in last year's set. So in this first one, we have, uh, it's not one. Oh, well, wow. I, it's a Tory Hunter. Um, he's an okay, he was an okay player. Uh, not something I would go out of my way of getting, but it is, as you can see here, a one of one. So that's not bad. If you know, if I have to get a Tory Hunter, um, I'm pretty happy that it's a one of one. So we'll put that. I'm going to put all my cards, all the hits, back here. So that's not bad. One of one. All right. The next box, and the last of the archive signatures that I have. And that is from the Cracker Jack. I have to take a look, closer look at that. Okay, that's not bad. A Hall of Famer here. I'm pretty happy with this one. Robin Yount. And this one is number 4 of 16. It's really nice. Actually, both of the signatures are really nice. Very happy with the way they these players signed it. This is from an 88 Tops card. So, that's pretty good. So, I'm can't complain too much at all with the two players I got out of those boxes. All right, we'll move on to the Clearly Authentic, which actually, to be honest with you, I've seen a lot of mediocre stuff. Um, seems like out of 20 boxes, you might get like four or five really good players and then a lot of rookies and then some five or six so-so. Players are like, why am I paying? Actually, these these boxes were pretty cheap compared to what I've heard other people saying they paid. Uh, these were seventy nine dollars. I I've heard people saying they paid eighty five to to ninety dollars a box. So can't complain too much about the price. All right, well we're we're doing pretty good today. We have a Juan Soto red, number to fifty, number five of fifty. Um. He's one of my, he's, the Nationals are like my second team. I'm an Orioles fan first, but I do watch Nats games. And I drive by Nats Stadium every day on my way to work into Alexandria. So this is a pretty good break so far. I'm really happy with what I've got. And our last box of Clearly Authentic. Right. Uh, this is a dud. I've seen many people get this one. Mark Burley. Uh, number 56 of 99. It is a green parallel, so at least it's not a base. But yeah, this is by far the worst of the bunch. Alright, we'll move him 
put over here. Let's see if you can let's see if I can center these a little bit better so they're all on screen. And then lastly, but not least, is our one little mini box of 2021 museum collection. Hopefully I get a decent rookie out of this too. That'd be cool. And this I actually paid the most for. three cards inside one regular base a parallel and then the hit in between so it looks skinny so hopefully that's a good sign so first up we have Tony Gwynn up front oh, there's four cards in here actually no there's five cards in here uh, we have a Paul Goldschmidt purple. How many cards are you supposed to get? I thought you only got three cards in these. Hmm. Oh, it does say five. My mistake. Uh, is this my hit in the back? I kind of ruined it. Uh, Canvas Collection. Uh, Nick Madrigal. And my hit is a Jeff McNeil. It is an autograph though. It's a nice archival autographs. Jeff McNeil, 134 of 300. Let me take a look at this Madrigal. Make it, it's not numbered or signed. Okay, so. Eh, not bad, I got, I got my five autographs. I can't complain about that. It's just this uh, museum collection, the checklist is pretty big, so you're not gonna get stud players in every pack but um you know overall i'm i'm pretty happy with what i got that was not a bad haul i think i'm probably going to hold on to the soto and i probably will sell all the other ones on my ebay account um at some point cool not bad i'm gonna actually go back next week and if he has any left, buy a couple more. Recap, we have a one-of-one one Tory Hunter Cracker Jack card. Um, I'm not sure what top set that came out of. An 88 tops buyback uh, Robin, Yount, Robin Yount, number to 16. Really low number. It's number 4 of 16. Uh, 5 of 50, red parallel Juan Soto. And a green parallel of Mark Burley, numbered to 99. I can't see the number offhand. It's 56 of 99. And then this Jeff McNeil, 134 out of 300. And that does it for the video. I appreciate everyone watching. If you don't mind leaving a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments below which what you think your what the your favorite card was out of the break. And if you've bought any of these and if you've hit anything low numbered or hit a big time pull, let, let me know in the comments. Uh, oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. I actually have something that I got in the mail too that I wanted to open up. Uh, this is a redemption I got from Panini. Uh, I opened this card in a boom box in October of 2020 put in the redemption and I got it in the mail yesterday so they're almost as bad as PSA with their turnaround but this is going to be a should be a Justin Jefferson mosaic autograph that's pretty sweet it was worth the wait man because I really wanted this card um, and I was hoping that they would follow through I still have one card that I'm waiting from Panini for a redemption it's a dual pen pals Jerry Judy and KJ Hamler auto that I got in the following month's boom football boom box. So this, I almost forgot about this. So now that does it for the video. Um, again, thanks for watching everyone. Have a good night and take care.